so many random questions, so many answers, and so much information. If you have a bunch of random questions about the Disney International program, check out this video. Hey guys, my name is Christina. I was a former CP and CRP. Now in this video, I will answer a bunch of random questions that I have been asked the most. Also my friends, my former CRPs, um, told me a bunch of questions they have been asked the most. Plus right now I'm helping a girl here from Germany applying to become a CRP pretty soon. So I also put all of her questions that she had in this video. Some people like to ask me if I have any regrets doing the program. I personally have not any regrets doing the program. A few things I regret is that I've not done them. For example, I did not go on a cruise. Doesn't matter if Disney cruise or a general uh, or a regular cruise to the Bahamas. I have not done a cruise. I regret that. I also I wish I would have done Disney volunteering. So um, Disney does offer opportunities to volunteer um, within the Orlando community. So I wish I would have done that because I heard many great things about it, but I kind of, while I was there, there's so much going on and you just miss out on a few things. Make yourself a bucket list and then work towards checking everything off and enjoy, do everything you can do and try everything even if it's out of your comfort zone. I highly recommend just use everything any chance to do something new you um, take it and do it have fun it's an incredible opportunity and you will have a lot of good memories and a lot of fun some people ask me but don't you get homesick what do you do when you get homesick of course you're gonna get homesick because sometimes especially during the holidays you're like why am i here no you know why you're here but uh, you miss your family, especially during holidays or maybe certain birthdays or spe special days. But I've left my family already three times to spend a year abroad in the US. And my mindset was every single time, yes, I do miss them. Yes, I will be homesick, but I will be there in the US or abroad for a certain amount of time. I will return home, my family will be there waiting for me. So make the most out of your time while you're there. Try to go uh, through your homesickness as fast as possible. Talk to maybe your friends, do something, go to the parks, maybe go to the beach or something. A personal trick that I figured out that always helped me is um, when I felt homesick or something wasn't going on as silly as it sounds i just looked outside and i tried to find the next palm tree and then i looked at the palm tree and i was like wow i get to live here in a place that has palm trees and Sometimes I would touch them, hug them, but <laughs> no, seriously, as soon as I looked like, at the palm tree and I was like, wow, we don't have those where I come from. So just being somewhere, getting to live somewhere where there are palm trees or just like close to the beach, go to the beach, go to the pool. And it's, it's sunny Florida. You probably could go out right now and go to the pool in Florida if you would be there. So go to the pool and do something and just always remember you are there for a certain limited amount of time and you will at some point go back home and then you're home you're happy but then you're gonna miss Florida you're gonna miss Disney you're gonna miss your C CRP life your DC ICP life just in general you will miss the program you will miss the people talk to your uh, pavilion family or uh, your friends um, in your pavilion that you're maybe homesick that you want to do something maybe call home talk to them about it they will calm you down and tell them that everything is fine back home so just 
just always remember, make the most out of it. You do not have time to be homesick, okay? There is no point. So people are also very concerned about what if they need a doctor. So if you are sick and you really, really gotta see a doctor, you of course have health insurance. Either you're covered by your own health insurance from your home country, or um, you decided to get the Disney health insurance after you worked for them for 90 days. So if you have Disney health insurance, you can, for example, go to the doctor that is that has a, um, a practice on the Epcot parking lot, for example. So I know one time one of the Germans cut um, their hand at work and he was covered by Disney insurance. So he just uh, walked over there to the doctor's office and they did take care of them. Also, I had a friend who had insurance from back home and one day she woke up and she could not breathe because uh, her throat was so swollen up. So I took her to um, the doctor that was close to Vista, a, little, a couple of kilometers, miles down the road. And she had to fill out a few forms here and there and a proof that she has insurance. They talked to, their, um, to her insurance company back home in the UK for a sec and then she had to wait a couple like I think almost an hour or something uh, before she got to see the doctor the doctor uh, took care of her um, figured out what was wrong and gave, gave her medication so I know health insurance is a tricky tricky topic especially because you always hear so much about the American health system but uh, since you will be covered, it's a requirement of the program to have health insurance, you will be helped, there will be a, a doctor's office you can go to and they will help you. Um, also, if there's an emergency, like um, you break a leg or something, <laughs> of course you can go to the, um, the emergency room, to the hospital and they will help you. If you get sick and you don't really need to see a doctor, but you probably need medication because you have a cold or you have a headache or anything like that, there are drugstores in the US like Walgreens or CVS. There is a Walgreens right across from Vista and they have a big selection of different medicine and medication for whatever you might need or whatever issue you might have. So there is also a counter with a pharmacist. You can go to uh, the pharmacist and talk to them about the issues you have, the conditions you have, what's wrong with you, <laughs> and they will, and the pharmacist will, will most likely be able to recommend a specific uh, product, a specific uh, medicine or drug to you, so you know what to pick and choose for whatever issue you might have. Other than that, a bunch of medication that is usually requires a prescription here in Europe or here in Germany, whatever. Most of the times you don't need a prescription for that in the US and you can walk into a Walgreens and get it. So I was asked many times, what was my favorite location or a store to go grocery shopping and just shopping in, on a regular basis, just clothing. So uh, grocery shopping, I have to say, my favorite place was Aldi. <laughs> they have Aldi in the US. So because I'm German, I take a lot of pride in being able to go to Aldi and go grocery shopping because American Aldis are different than German Aldis because they're like American. And um, so I took an Uber, usually with a friend of mine uh, because the bus doesn't go to Aldi, unfortunately. And I took an Uber to go shopping at Aldi. I think it was the Aldi in Kissimmee. And um, yeah, when shopping there, to my experience, Aldi is cheaper than Walmart, but it does not have, not have the variety of products. So if you need something super, super special or you just need something specifically, but if you just want to go basic grocery shopping, Aldi is usually cheaper than Walmart and uh, even though you spend money on an Uber or a Lyft, the money that you save with the groceries that you buy there is usually bigger than whatever you spend on the Uber. So that's why I didn't mind spending the money to uh, get to Aldi. 
but um, yeah, check out whatever they have offered in that week because they have weekly specials and maybe maybe uh, they have something that you, uh, you enjoy. They usually have a German week every couple of months, so that's when all the Germans go to Aldi and buy all the bread and everything. So um, that's what I like the most. There is also Publix, which, which is a bit expensive. It's not too far away from Commons, Chatham and Patterson. You could technically also walk over there. And there's also the bus always uh, also goes there, but I would walk there and then take the bus back because <laughs> The way the bus system works is, or the bus route works is that it first takes you, I think, uh, to Walmart and the mall and everything like that. And then the last stop is Publix. By the time you get to Publix on the bus, you could have walked there at least five times. So walk to Publix and then take the bus back with your shopping. My favorite places to go shopping for clothes is well of course the outlet mall across from comments but there's another outlet mall a couple of miles down or up or down anyways uh, the i4 or in orlando and um, you can take an uber or a lyft there it's i think a bit bigger the most important thing is though that it has a victoria's secret outlet store and the outlets by comments don't have that so <laughs> For most of the ladies, love to go uh, to, took an Uber or a Lyft up there just to uh, for the Victoria's Secret experience. <laughs> Besides the outlet malls, my two most favorite stores or stores in general to go clothing shopping are Ross and TJ Maxx. Uh, for whatever TJ Maxx is called TJ Maxx in the U.S. Here in Germany, it's called TK Maxx. Um, I don't know why, but there is that. And um, places like Marshalls, those stores are usually a little chaotic and a little bit messy because you have to dig and find the things that you're looking for or uh, people are just randomly searching um, and looking for things that they like. You have to just um, go through everything to maybe find whatever you like, but everything is a bit uh, cheaper. They have brand and designer clothes. You can buy a bunch of things a lot cheaper there and it's a good place to go if you like a good deal and to save a couple of dollars, which I'm all for. So that's why I love these places. All right, and last but not least, what if you have tattoos? Well, tattoos is a tricky subject but Disney is aware of the fact but that by now, 2018, maybe even later than that, if you're watching the video, that everybody or a lot of people have tattoos because they're so popular. So Disney will ask you throughout the application process a couple of times if you have tattoos they need to be aware of. If you have tattoos, let's say on your hip or on your uh, shoulder blade or anything like that, if those can be covered or will be covered by the costume you're gonna be wearing, Disney does not care at all. So if you, for example, or have a tattoo um, on your ankle and it can be covered by your socks, it's all good. Nothing, nothing to worry about just let them know yeah there's one on my ankle yeah i have one on my shoulder blade uh, but um i saw the costume that i would be wearing and um it should be completely covered sometimes if you are um, let's say from a country like australia or new zealand there's a possibility that you guys will be lifeguards so if there's a possibility of um, your role is being a lifeguard, they will ask you if, um, a question like, if you're wearing a one-piece bathing suit or if you're wearing boxer shorts, what are they called? Like for guys, the swim, swim trunks, uh, yeah, swim trunks. If you wear them, will any tattoos be visible? 
and then just be honest to Disney say yes say no there's no point in lying or if you have a tattoo in your neck area um, please don't lie to Disney and tell them no and then cover it every single day if you keep it covered the whole time with makeup or whatever at some point somebody will notice anyways and your managers will notice and if they look into your files and it says that you said you didn't have any that makes you a liar and nobody wants to be a liar or caught lying or whatever so just be honest um, Disney will tell you your options uh, right away if you can cover it with makeup if it's just something small or uh, we had people at the German pavilion they had their complete arms tattooed okay and so they were wearing a sleeve that covers their tattoos during work and there is that so basically if you have tattoos it doesn't really matter that much unless let's say you have a tiger or something on your face if you have a tiger or anything on your face that might be a problem that would be a big problem so that might be a reason why it would be turned down but if you have a, a tattoo on any other spot of your uh, on your body you most likely will have not issues if you just take care of it by covering it with makeup one of those sleeves that i talked about or uh, i had some people and just put it on a skin color band-aid that's it so just because you have a tattoo doesn't mean there's no way of you being hired by disney so still apply be honest figure it out together with disney how to manage it that's it if you have a bunch of more questions, basic questions regarding the CRP program, the Cultural Representative Program, make sure to check out my video I recently posted. It's an introduction to the Cultural Representative Program and I think I basically answered anything there is to answer. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I did answer a bunch of questions that you had, but now you have the answer to. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing down below and hit that bell so you get a notice every single Thursday about me uploading a new video with great tips and tricks on how to save time, money and a lot of stress while having the most magical year of your life during your Disney International program. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.